Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we have a guest, and we're going to review Birchbender's Cookie Cups. And we'll try it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. I'm back. Anthony is back. We are going to do a review of a product. This is the Birch Benders Cookie a la Cup. So if you're new to our channel, like I said, I'm Joe. This is Anthony. This is our middle son. And Rachel, who is the other half of Two Crazy Ketos, she's not home today. And she opted to not do the review on this because she's trying to stay away from some of the sweet product reviews because they kind of trigger her to want to yeah. eat more sweet things. Uh, so a lot of people have asked us about this. And these are the Birch Bender Cups. And uh, this is the cookie one. And I've got their website up. They actually have several different flavors of this. They have a birthday cake flavor, blueberry muffin, a chocolate chip cookie, which is what this one is. They also have chocolate chip pancakes. I feel like those are similar. Yeah, I have a feeling, well, cookie, can't pancake, probably the, the similar thing. taste, right? Then they have classic maple pancakes, double chocolate brownies, and strawberry shortcake pancakes. That's a lot of flavor for a cookie. They have a lot of different flavors. So basically what this is, is it's all of the dry ingredients and in a cup. And then you're going to add some water, right? Yeah, it's a mug cake. It's a mug cake in a, in a disposable cup. Yeah. So on the back, there is a little bit of copy. It says, boom, crash, kapow. That's the sound of birch banders shattering your cookie expectations. In with the good, out with the bad. Our ooey gooey cookie in a cup is two ordinary cookies as a superhero is to mere mortals. It says at birch banders, we're on a mission to bring people together, make your favorite foods better, and fill your days with stacks of fun. Man, they're, they're hyping this thing up. They are hyping it up. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my hopes up, but I don't know. Okay, so it says remove sealed lid, add two tablespoons of water, mix well until smooth, and microwave on high for 60 seconds. I will say the labeling is really cool with yeah, like the little superhero cool. and stuff yeah. on the front. She's, okay. she's knocking out a chocolate chunk. Oh, and look, there's another guy that's actually she's flying a, a chocolate yeah. chip. So, and there's okay. a city in the background. Let's go make this, and then we'll come right back with taste tests. Here we go. It smells like a cookie. It smells it, like a pancake. It smells, yeah, I guess it does smell like a pancake. It smells like a pancake. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there. It, it looks like an overbaked cookie a little bit. Not like browned, but I don't know, almond flour. So we're gonna spoon this and just try it. Ooh. Okay, so let me let me get a spoon of this and show it to you. It's kind of like almost like a cross between a cookie and a mug cake. That's chocolatey. Yeah. I feel like it's not bad. No, I feel like if you put heavy cream in here, it'd be better. Heavy cream? I mean, instead of water? Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. I want to try it. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. Okay, you want to go through our five things? Can I try it with the heavy cream? You want to make one with heavy cream? Oh, instead of five things. Okay, we will be right back. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Anthony's made one out of heavy whipping cream now instead of water. I don't know how good this is going to be. It's way better than that one. Let me see. That was way better. It definitely makes it gooier. This is, that's way better. That if I'm makes eating it this, gooier. If I'm eating that, I'm eating it with heavy cream. That makes it gooier. Oh, here, wait, here. This is how you can tell. So I mix both of them around. Okay. This, this one, is, one looks like sand. This one is like crumbly. Yeah, well, this one is still... That's like a gooey... 
kind of makes that's kind of like a, a cake. cookie that has been undercooked. Yeah. Right. You ever get those cookies and you undercook them? Are you gonna do the video? Or you're gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat this. That's you're why we're doing the video, isn't it? Okay. Let's do five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. I have not looked at the ingredients in this at all. Almond flour, erythritol, dark chocolate chips, which are unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia, and sunflower lecithin. Then we have eggs, oil powder, which is high oleic sunflower oil, inulin, sodium castanate. And then you have sunflower lecithin, which is uh, mixed tofurols. Then you have tiger nut flour, organic coconut flour, leavening, which is monocalcium phosphate and sodium bicarbonate. So it's basically baking powder, natural flavors, alkalized cocoa powder, xanthan gum, and stevia extract. Honestly, the it's ingredients bad. aren't bad with the exception of the fact that they're using sunflower oil. I mean, at least they're using high oleic sunflower oil. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they're using an oil powder because you've got to, anytime you have an oil, you've got to, and you're putting it in a powder form, you got to bind it to something. Yeah. So that's what they're doing there. They're binding it to inulin. So ingredients aren't super bad. No. Number two. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? You're just enjoying these. Yeah, I am. This is pretty good. <laughs> okay, so serving size is one cup, 190 calories. Now that's if you're making it with water, not when you're making it with heavy whipping cream. That would add another 100, 100 calories. calories. So that would be 290. 17 grams of fat, again, with water. So what is it, like five grams of fat in a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream? So that would yeah. be 27 grams of fat. That's kind of insane, actually. Um, seven grams of protein, again, with water. Total carbohydrates is 23 grams. Wow, you are really enjoying well, no, this. Well, no, I like this one better with the heavy cream, so I'm Why gonna... don't you try mixing them? No. No? no. Okay. No, so my, my philosophy is that this one is better. So I'm gonna eat the one that I don't like as much, and I'm gonna end my eating with the better one. Okay. So total carbs is 23 grams of carbs. Then we have, uh, let me see, four grams of fiber. So there's not a lot of fiber in this. 15 grams of sugar alcohols. That is a lot of sugar alcohol, especially because yeah. I'm looking in here. Okay, so the second ingredient is erythritol. It is, and it, it does have a little bit of a cooling effect, but not too much. And you don't get that granular thing to it. So that's making it four net carbs per cup. That's not bad for dessert. I don't feel like I'm getting a whole lot for no, four not. carbs. I mean, the serving, there really wasn't much to that. I mean, no. it was like eating a cookie. Let's I put it this way. I've eaten two of them <laughs> in like less than five minutes. It's not that much. It's not that much, so... Okay, so number three, how do they taste? Well, <laughs> you know my answer. I think it's kind of average with the water, and I can't, I can't justify the heavy whipping cream. I can. Yeah, but the heavy, you're not doing keto. The heavy whipping cream is about a half a carb per tablespoon, so you're adding another carb. So now you're at five net carbs, making it 290 calories to use the heavy whipping cream. I mean, yeah. But if you're making it as directed, eh, I don't know. It's not that great. It's, not bad, though. It's like okay, but I don't know if it's okay enough for four net carbs. And 23 no. total carbs. Let's, let's, let's not take that. 23 yeah. total carbs. That is a lot of erythritol. That's a yeah. lot of carbs. Okay, so number four... How much do they cost? Here's where you may change your mind. Okay, so looking on Amazon. Now, we purchased these ourselves. We didn't, they weren't sent those to us or anything like that. We bought them ourselves. And on Amazon, it is $24 for eight cups. <clears throat> so that is $3 a cup. Yeah. That wasn't $3. Huh? Uh, that that wasn't enough for three dollars. It wasn't enough that for wasn't three dollars. Let's $3. move this over here because it's like in the shot. So, 
Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth three dollars. No, it's. I mean, you're not getting much. I mean, it's. If you think that paying two or three dollars for a keto cookie, this is less filling because it's kind of airy. Yeah, it's airy. So it's kind of like the ripoff when Hershey started to put the bubbles in their Hershey, and you paid more money for less. Oh, chocolate. I remember that. That's kind of what it's like. It's kind of like more bubbles in your cookie, and you don't have as much. You're paying in your for cookie. the convenience of a fresh baked. Yeah cookie fresh baked fresh baked sort of fresh air baked. quotes air quotes so number five would we recommend these what do you think i don't i wouldn't it's why not too, it's too expensive it's too expensive i i agree i think that these are too expensive but then on top of that i wouldn't recommend it because first of all it's really high in carbs 23 total carbs four net carbs i don't think it's very satisfying for those four net carbs or the 200 calories I compare this to like a bar, whether you want to go with like the perfect keto bar or the keto fit bars or any of those other bars where you're between 200 and 250 calories. All of those bars are much less than total carbs. Even if they're coming in at the same like net carbs, they're just much low, lower in total carbs. But even if you look at like a Stoka bar, which is going to be a little bit higher on the total carb, I feel like that's going to be a lot more satisfying. There's just not much to this. And I don't know. I mean, I only had a couple spoons. You ate two cups. I could eat another one. You can. <laughs> I could eat another one. It's, it wasn't enough. I don't think it's enough for it. Three dollars, four total, four yeah, net no. carbs, twenty-three total carbs. The ingredients aren't super bad, but you know, I don't know. I could do without. I kind of, yeah. I kind of think that they're not worth the money. No, so. not not when you consider like I've got a tub of cookie dough in my fridge. Right. That was $4 and it makes like two dozen cookies. Okay, but that's not keto cookie dough, but you could make that entire tub yeah, for maybe but you can make seven that entire, or eight dollars. Yeah, well I have the ingredients too. So right. I, I, I could make it for less than that. Right. So, and I could get a lot of that. The most expensive thing is the chocolate. Okay. You, you'd have to get dark chocolate. Well, even when you make your regular cookies, you're using keto chocolate chips because that's all we have in our house. So you're using the Lily's chocolate yeah, chips. Yeah, I am. Even for non-keto cookies. Yeah. So, Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried any of these Birch Bender cookie cups. Let us know what you think about them. Again, personally, I think it's a cool idea. I just think it's a lot of money for what you're getting. Yeah. Especially when you look at like a whole bag of birch benders, like they have like the pancake mix. That was like seven dollars. We got a big bag of it. I mean, you're paying for convenience here, and that's yeah. about it. So, so like I said, let us know in the comment if you've tried them. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon so that you're notified whenever we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.